What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dice video, we took on LSU in another ranked matchup, and we ended up winning by 10. We had a really good first half, and we kept the lead throughout the remainder of the game, even though they was able to score a little extra in the fourth quarter. So we're still number one in the country. We're 10-0. We're having a really good season. And today we're going to finish up the conference schedule with the game against North Carolina. Now, they've been really bad this entire dynasty. We got a clear roster advantage. Looks like their stats doesn't say a whole lot to me other they're not very good at anything outside of passing the ball, at least a little bit. Now, they still run like a pro-style offense and a 4-3 defense, but hopefully we can take care of business today. Joe Horton is slowly moving up the Heisman list. Now, he is in second place. I don't know if he can overthrow Graham Harrell, who already has 50 touchdowns, and they probably got like two games left. That's just going to be really tough, but it's good to see him on the list at least, and maybe he can just go really wild over the next couple games and maybe be able to sneak in and win the trophy. Speaking of awards, we have the awards finalist list, and we can check out some of the ones that we are up for. The Maxwell Award, you can see Horton is there in second place. Then he got the Walker Award. Very good chance he's going to win that one. And the rest of awards we are not up for outside of the Coach Award, which we are in fourth place. Now, just because they've made the finalists doesn't mean that you can't get in that top three. I've been able to sneak in there and win an award or two in the past doing that. We can check out the conference standings. Now, we have won the Coastal Division, and we are going to take on Florida State in that conference championship game, which is going to be an absolute classic. I can already tell. But let's check out our team info screen. And John Red, he'll be back next week against uh, Wisconsin. Uh, but Gates, Horton, and Riley, that stayed pretty consistent throughout all season outside of Riley and Peterson going back and forth there. Then on the defensive side, that's been pretty consistent all year as well. Now we can check out North Carolina, see what we're dealing with. Looks like they got some centers out, <laughs> two of them. Uh, Cameron Sexton, I am not related to him, at least not that I know of. It's having a pretty good season. If you remember, we just looked at that they passed the ball fairly well. And it looks like they got a wide receiver putting up some decent numbers. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things from my store. First off, everything in the store is 20% off if you buy four or more items. That's an incredible deal that several people have already taken advantage of. Now, my latest book is out, the Flexible Shoot Playbook for NCAA Football 06. It's essentially the offense I ran in my Hawaii dynasty the last few seasons of it where I broke just a ton of records and I had a whole lot of fun doing it. I also have my memory cards where I have over 20 named roster files for every single NCAA football game for the PlayStation 2. And last but not least, I have all of my books. West Coast Offense, The Power Shoot, The Owl Raid Offense, The Big Book of Tight End Plays, you got the I Option Offense, and so on and so forth. So make sure you check that out. I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Looks like we have a pretty day for some football in the state of North Carolina. I'm glad. Now you got to remember, this is Senior Day. I'm going to try to get some more seniors involved, at least maybe like get Tim Ball a touchdown, things like that. We're going to check out our roster here shortly. It's going to be cold, but there's no rain and there's no wind, which is a good thing. Here's the division standings. Of course, we have locked this up. We could lose today and it's still not going to matter. And here come the Duke Blue Devils in the all blue look, which is probably my favorite. And here come the North Carolina Tar Heels. Joe Horton, best halfback in the country. Hopefully he'll have another solid game today. We're going to need him. I assume they are going to pick us to win, and they are. Let's check out the coin toss, see who's going to win that. We did. I want the ball to start a second half. Let's check out our roster. Now, again, this is senior day. I want to kind of highlight some seniors and maybe give them a little love today in the game if I can. Now, quarterback Gates is a junior. You look at halfback. We got junior, two freshmen. Now, Horton, this may be his last home game as a Duke Blue Devil. Very good chance he'll probably want to go pro early. So, salute to him if this is his last game wearing a blue uh, home uniform. Now, it's possible in our conference game and in our championship game, if we get there, we're going to wear a home uniform. But you get what I'm saying? This could be his last game in Durham, North Carolina. Fullback, Tim Ball. He's a senior. I'm going to try to give him some love today if I can. 
uh, at wide receiver, Aaron Riley. Uh, he's a senior, so we're going to try to give him the ball some if possible. And tight end, uh, we don't have any seniors there. You look at our offensive line. We got one senior at left guard, and the rest are not seniors. So we're pretty young on the offensive side of the ball. On defensive side, we got a sophomore and a freshman uh, at the edges. Then we got defensive tackle, Vince Ogabasi. That guy has been like the foundation of our defense since the beginning of the dynasty. Hopefully, I'd love to see him get a sack today. That would be pretty cool. Look at the linebackers. A bunch of juniors. Imagine if they all came back next year. Gee whiz. Corner. Sophomore and sophomore. We got our nickelback. Azard is a senior. Maybe he could get an interception today. Then you got a free safety. We got a true or redshirt sophomore. Then strong safety, redshirt sophomore. We got a junior, and we got a junior on the special team. So we are real, pretty young across the board. Now let's go and check out North Carolina's roster. Starting quarterback, Cameron Sexton. He's got 85 speed. So I got to be careful with that. I'm sure he's going to run around some today. And they got an impact running back. So this backfield is going to be a nightmare scenario for us. A speedy quarterback with an impact halfback. That's probably the worst combo you could ask for when you're going up against an offense. So hopefully we can contain that some. A fullback, 84 overall, but not a whole lot on the speed. You look at a wide receiver, 89, and a bit of a drop-off. Then you go to 80, 78, 78. Uh, tight end, impact tight end, but he is a blocker, apparently. Just got 65 speed. He can't catch all that much, but I'm sure they'll try to throw it to him at least once or twice. You look at the offensive line. Now, their left tackle is out for the first half. We need to take advantage of it, although it's not a huge drop-off for the backup. You look at uh, guards, you got 74 now, their center situation is very bad. Maybe we could do some middle blitzing of some sort. I know there's some place in there that we can call. We can try some of that. We'll see. Uh, right guard, 92 overall, really talented. Then you got 80 at right tackle. Defensive ends, now they run a 4-3, so 72 and 76 on the edge. 76, and then you got in the 60s at defensive tackle. Really young at a lot of these spots. Uh, impact outside linebacker at 80. Then you got 78 at middle linebacker. And 76 at right. So their front seven is nothing special. Corner 72 and 70. Then you got 80 at free safety and 80 at strong safety. So just just a very average to below average defense. An awful kicker. He's a freshman with an average punter. All right. It all comes down to trying to shut down that backfield. Let's see if we can do that today and try not to make any mistakes our own of our own, I should say. We'll kick it over to the other side, away from that impact player. Definitely returnable. Good hit. Now, this is going to be interesting. I don't know. Let's go ban out of the gauge. They're going to have some weird play calling. I don't, I don't know. I think they're going to be balanced. I don't want this running back to run wild on us, and they're going with a halfback read out of the gate. I'm going to pick up four to five yards. Going five wide. We're going to do something like this. I probably should have went down, but that's okay. We're going to do a spy, though. The quarterback is a righty, so we'll have our spy on the right. First down, over the middle. They're going with a big set from what I can... Uh, three, two tight ends and three wide receivers. They must be using a sub package or something. Okay. Makes sense. Going with a pass, intercept that. That's okay. That's a good stop. Didn't get anything out of that. Uh, let's go quarters and a nickel. Again, I have no clue what they're going to call. Do they go to the running back or are they going to pass it? That's an odd setup there. I'm not sure if I like that, but they're going to pass it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you got to be kidding. He's going to get the first, I think. First and ten, just like that. But the offensive All right, let's go man. Just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, hit him. We'll do something like this. The linebacker shift over a little. Halfback slam. Good stop. Thankfully he got pushed back. So that's what second and something, second and long. Let's go quarters. 
I'm assuming they're going to throw it. Very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. And they are. Combination means one thing for the offense. Good open field tackle by Walker. So it's third and what, six maybe? Third and five. We're going to go cloud. I'm going to do a spy. I feel like I have no choice. Don't run the ball. They may run it. Going option. Oh, they went with the option pass. Oh, hell. Dang it. I mean, I made the tackle, but they still got the first. I hate when they make a play like that. Look at that. He had perfect protection. Like, he's just sitting there. Of course, I only dropped eight. Ah, hell. Man, what do you do? This is a good play on their part. Uh, let's go back to man. First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. I'm going to leave it as is. They, come out with three wide receivers. they may do another off tackle to the weak side. Yep. Again, pull back over. Pull back. Face mask. Good job. Just a minute, folks. A oh, just going to be one of them days, isn't it? 15 yards, too. Let's just give him the touchdown. I'm going to do a zone blitz. Let's just throw something weird at him and see how they handle it. Go play action. Good stop. We had three guys right on him. Uh, did, mm, the quarters out of nickel? Man, if we could just hold him to a field goal, that would be fantastic. Going ace bunch. Oh, come on. Ooh, that could be much worse. All right, so it's third and ten. I'm going to go back to Cloud. We're going to do something like this. We're dropping eight, so he's going to have time to throw, but he makes a bad throw. Good deal. We're going to force the field goal. Good job, defense. Let's get the stop. Now, they got a terrible kicker. He may miss it. I don't think he will. Perfect kick. And now you can see why I have CPU field goal accuracy at 25%. They got an awful kicker, and he made just a perfect one off the opposite uh, hash. <laughs> All right, let's get the ball ourselves and see if we can do something with it. That's a deep kick. We're not going to bother with that one. Uh, let's fix a couple of sub packages. Let's just run the ball with Horton for now. Man 4-3. Uh, let's uh, let's do something like this. Let's see if our tight end can get a block. Oh, they're going cover zero. Oh, good blocking. Good blocking. Good blocking. Go! 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 He just don't have the top end speed. Great block by Ball. Good block by Riley. Two seniors making big plays right there to get a first down. Let's go. Let's go halfback angle. They're going man. Now, the guy who's covering Gay, I think he is the impact guy. So we're going to do something like this instead. Cover one. Good play to Myrick. Going to get the first. This is the weird play. A weird throw. He had to come back for it. He short-armed it a bit. But it caused separation from his defender. So he was able to sneak around and pick up the first down. Good play there. Uh, let's do a toss play with Horton. It's first and ten. Man 4-3. No hard shift. The Devils go with the eye formation. Uh, let's yeah, we'll go to the right. Let's see what happens. On the option, he uh oh, ball. he may have some room. He may get a touchdown here. The ten. Oh, he didn't get it. <laughs> wow, he got. Uh, wow, another shoestring tackle. Good blocking all around. We'll make sure Ball gets a touch or two later on, but I think Horton deserves this touchdown. So I'm going to give him the ball. We're going to see if we can just punch this thing in. I'm going to go to the right. And we're going to get the six points. So we got our first lead of the day. 
Pretty easy drive. Not too bad. Give it to our best player. He had two huge runs. He would be, I guess, the perfect halfback if he had any top-end speed. But I think his speed is like a 90 overall. But I'm not complaining. He's been such a great back for us. And he tacks on the extra point. We're just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Let's get back on defense. Try to hold him again to a field goal, if not a punt. We'll kick it back over to the left side. Good kick. This is where I want it. He will return it. That's their big wide receiver. Let's go. Let's go man cover two. Set up shot at the 20-yard line. Do something like this. Watch for this weak side. Over. Nope, they're going to do a toss to that side. Look at that blocking. That could have been much worse. So they got five yards out of it. Good to see the toss work there. Let's uh, go quarters. I'm not going to blitz. Let's just not do it. Let's just wait. Do something like this. He drops want to pass it? He's open over the middle. Ooh, he dropped it. Good. Wasn't the best throw in the world, but it was catchable. They're, hmm. They're going with a big set. But I'm going to go... Okay, that's just really weird. We'll do something like this. Play action. With a nice play fake. Looking. Throws it to the outside. And he still caught it. Wow. What do you do? Just a good throw? I was right there. If I just couldn't get there in time, I guess. I, I probably should have been an interference, to be honest. And just like that, they're on the move. Their quarterback's playing really good football at the moment. And that guy's open over there. Get him. Somebody get him. There we go. Good deal. I thought he was going to sneak out of there with a run. Second and 11. That's not going to be a good angle. Let's go ahead and go quarters. This is going to be the last play of the quarter. Let's see if they go back to the pass. Another toss. Oh, dang it, Al. I was right there. He still made the catch. Oh, they're making goofy plays on us today. And that's the end of the first quarter. We're up four, but they're driving. Their offense is really good at the moment. We can't stop them. So maybe we can keep them out of the end zone again. But in terms of getting towards the red zone, they're having no issues. Back to the pass, and there he goes. Another easy run. Dude didn't even bother to look for somebody to throw to. He just ran with it. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. I thought they was going to they're put the tight end in the slot. That's what they've done. This is what's throwing me off. There we go. Somebody get a stop. There we go. He tried to go out for it again on the scramble. Uh, let's go quarters. We're going to do another spy. Might as well. I mean, he's going to run every time. Good throw. But, again, we're not putting a whole lot of pressure on him. I don't want to. Let's go cloud. I feel like i got no choice but to do this. Hopefully he can goof up here. They may run it. North Carolina lines up in a bunch formation. Sexton steps back to pass. He's looking. May get him, get him. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Look at this. I mean, just garbage stuff. I mean, kudos to the quarterback. He's making plays out there. I mean, the hit. Ah, just what do you do? Oh, my gosh. So, they're going to score a touchdown unless we get super lucky. And right now, it's not looking that way. So, let's just go ahead and... We'll try to delay the inevitable. 
QB a uh, good hit. Would have been nice to see a fumble there. We'll do something like this. They're going with a. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. The tar uh, let's say they'll probably go to the left. I'd imagine. Fullback dive. Touchdown. Too easy. All right. Well, again, what do you do? Their quarterback made one perfect play after another. So we may have to start running clock some today if we can't stop their... I mean, that's two straight drives where they had no problem scoring. My spies aren't working. Not technically. I mean, we've already got a few sacks, but he's overcoming it by getting first downs somewhere else. I'm not going to worry about running clock just yet. Let's just see if our defense can settle down a little bit and make a play for something. We need a turnover. We need to get lucky in that department. I'll let that one go. We're in the middle of the field. Let's just go ahead and do a toss with Pero. Zone 4-3. Let's see if they can put some more we can go to the left. Get a block or two. Get a first down. Good play there. Let's go. Wide receiver curls. They're going man nickel. They're bringing everybody. Let's do something like this. They're going cover zero, aren't they? Let's see if Riley can get underneath it. Oh, he still dropped it. I swear. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Let's do a um, let's do a direct with Horton. Zone dime. Interesting. They're not shifting hard to the right. Good play by Horton. Just get the yards we need. We're on the right hash. Let's go. Let's do that P.E. Reed from gun to back slot. We're going man. I'm going to do something like this. We'll go to ball, see if he can get some yards. Get a first down with him, not bad. We can go back underneath. Let's run slam with Horton. Zone dime. I'm going to run to the left. Ah, good defense. Just nowhere to go. I may go back to him, though. We can go back to the run. I'm going to do another toss. This time with Horton. Not a big fan of that shift. This will go to the left. Just enough. Oh, man. Ah, dang it. Well, this ain't a good play. Let's go uh, third and nine. Deep outs. It's third down and nine to go. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. If we don't convert here. Comes cover two. Three wide. Looks. Good throw. Good throw. And a face mask. And a face mask. And they threw a flag on that. Man, big play right there. I thought I was gonna get sacked. We're gonna accept that. Uh, on the two, that's fine. Uh, one thing I want to try before it doesn't work. Hopefully it does. You bet they are. That's a Let's go goal line. Let's go fullback dive. Let's see if we can get ball in the end zone. We're going zone. Six points to Tim Ball. He got his touchdown on the day. Good for the senior. That's why I done it. It's senior day. He got in there. Just a great play. Good for him. I've it's always fun to have a fullback that can do a bunch of different things, but he's done his main job perfectly. He's been a great blocker for us, and that's what we really needed him for. We got so many good running backs to play with. It's hard at times to sneak it in with a fullback. So we got the lead. The problem is we can't stop North Carolina. I mean, they're just doing whatever they want to. We're going to have to find get lucky on something. He needs to make a bad throw. I mean, even when he gets hit, he makes good throws. So this is by far the best quarterback we faced all season, just in terms of production. Now maybe he'll poop the bed in the second half. My kicker just got destroyed. Let's go quarters. I'm not going to do a spot. Let's just see what he does. 
Do something like this. I want him to make a bad throw. There he goes. I swear, we're going to have to go back to the spy again. I mean, he's just going to run, 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 run. Let's go quarters. A little spy. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-three. Feel like I got no choice. North Carolina comes out with two tight ends. He's oh, good throw. Just right down the field. Like they're having no issues. Look at that. Ten for eleven. I want to do a zone blitz. I gotta throw something weird at him. Maybe he'll make a bad throw because of it. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the We'll do a spy on the other side as well. Looking. Right. Intercept that somebody. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, good day. Second and ten. Oh, we'll go back to quarters. Again, I'm going to spy nickels all day. I hate to do that to him. I want to see him get some sacks. He still may end up getting another one or two. If that quarterback keeps running to the right. Wide open. Bubble, somebody get it. Ah, oh, dang it. Why can't we get lucky on those today? Man, that's what we needed right there. Gosh. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. I feel like they're just going to go right down the field and score. You can just tell they're just they're just getting so lucky on some plays. And I completely botched that one, I swear. Here he goes. Look at this. Man. I almost want them to score quickly so we can get the ball back. Like, they're just doing everything perfectly on offense. Everything. Even their fumbles, they recover them. And he still caught it, of course. <laughs> I swear, it just doesn't matter. They're going to just get their yards today. So, it looks like we're going to have to run clock in the second half. I don't know what else to do. Our defense isn't going to show up today. So, maybe they can score quickly here, then we can get the ball back and... This one to be any different. Try to get the lead before half. To Touchdown. Again, it doesn't matter what we call. They're going to get it. All right. Again, what do you do? You just got to grin and bear it, I guess. Like I told you at the beginning, this is an ideal nightmare to have a quarterback playing great who can run with an impact running back. I mean, the quarterback's playing like, I don't know, like Tim Tebow out there. He's running, he's throwing, he's just doing whatever he wants. We're going to have to get lucky. We're going to have to get one of those fumbles. Let's see if we can do something here first. Ah, oh, should have blocked him right there, and he didn't. Let's go. I got all three timeouts. Let's do RB deep. They're going man good. Uh, this, let's try it with Ball. Let's see if Ball can get it. He's double teamed though. Oh, he dropped it. Ah, dang it. Come on, Ball. Uh, I'm actually going to run the ball. I just, ah, they're going zone, I swear. It ain't going to work. I got to call a timeout. Dang it. All kinds of bad right there. Uh, let's. We're gonna have to go down the field more. Let's. That whole drop just threw me off. And they're going zone here. The blitz and everybody. Terrible throw. Awful. Man, that was awful. Gates. Second and third and ten. Deep outs. I don't know what else to call. He's got to do a whole lot better job on this one. We got no choice but to go to Peterson. Gates with three wide receivers. Gates drops back. Ter oh, shoot. Just enough. We've got to call a timeout here. Uh, I'm going to... I need to give the ball to Horton. Let's, I'm going to go halfback direct. Zone dime. Let's see if we can get a block or two here. There we go. Get the first down. 27 seconds on the 16. Let's stay here. I'm trying to think. I want to get Horton involved. Let's go wide receiver curls. 
going zone. We do something like this. Intercepted. Dang it! Ow! Man, that was awful! Dang it! That's just my fault. Oh, I'm playing so bad right now. Oh, it's awful. Dang it! That's just stupid. Let's just survive these 23 seconds and let's see if I can regroup. Just an awful play. They come out in a goal line set. They line up in the jumbo set. I don't know what to do though. We're just not playing well. I hate that our defense is playing absolutely pathetic. Just let the clock run, please. Mmm. It was a bad throw on my part. I should have just went to the flat. It was safer. Rich is feeling it and he wants the football in his hands. I don't think they're going to snap it. All right, we're down a field goal. It just maybe we can recover. Just a bad half. Do it for the first they're playing perfect football on offense. I don't have an answer for it. I mean, it's just incredible. I'm not even going to look at it. There's no point looking at any of it. We all know what's happening. Let's just get to the third quarter. North Carolina got the ball to start the I'm going to start running clock. We got to keep it away from their offense and try not to do anything stupid. Like turn the ball over like we just did. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out. Let's run the ball with Horton. We're going zone nickel. After doing that, I'm going to take a chance on the left. Get a block right there. Great run by Horton. He's got 162 yards. I may just put everything on his shoulders today. Let's go toss with Horton. Man 4-3. We're going to let that clock roll. Hopefully this, it, it's feeling like it, but some seasons you're going to have, at the end of the season, a game where just nothing goes right. This could be the game right here. It's always a one game that's towards the end where just things go so wrong. and Looks like this one could be it. Let's go get a Oh, he didn't get a block right there. That's okay. We're going to get the first. We're going to run some more. We're going to give him a break. I'm going to do another toss this time with Pero. I feel like this is what i got to do to survive this game. Let's go to the left. we got plenty of grass. I'm a big fan of that impact guy standing right there. But I'll take that grass advantage over him. Get it down to a few seconds and we'll snap it. Get a block right there. Can Pero get there? Touchdown. All right, we got the lead back. Unfortunately, we didn't take up any time. We took up barely a minute. Good block by Ball. They went cover zero. That's why there was nobody on the back end. That guy still almost got the stop on the touchdown. So the toss is working pretty well. Thankfully, their defense isn't all that great. Now, that one interception, that was all more on me than that linebacker. I should have thrown that. I saw a gaping hole right there and just didn't mean to. Yeah, it just wasn't a good idea. Doesn't matter. That's behind us. Let's go. We're up four. I, I don't know what to do on defense, <laughs> but we'll figure out something. Somebody needs to make a play. That quarterback needs to make at least one mistake today. He hasn't made any so far. So that's what's going to take for this team to beat us is their quarterback to play perfect football. And first half, he did it. Let's go cover two man. This defense holds on to the lead here as we start the second half. But I'm a bit surprised that we haven't seen much out of this. I can't go cover one. Play action. Get him. Look at him. He's just throwing dimes out there. Just lasers. Second and six. I'm going to go back to man. I think they're going to run it here. I'm trying to remember his two incompletions. What were they? I think one was a drop. He's looking for his man. Good open field tackle. I had to take him over on that one. So it's third and... Okay, I, again, I, I'm i going to do spy. I feel like he's just going to run away if we don't. And six yards is easy for him to get. There he goes. Ooh, I thought he was... This is what worries me. 
This play right here, so the QB spy, it's a very hit and miss. Now this guy, like at this point you would think, okay, he's coming at me, I'm going to make the tackle. Nope, I ain't going to do it. I had to take him over. If I had to took him over, I think he would have scored a, or got a first down. Shoo, okay. We stopped him. Man, that was huge. That was the play of the game so far. Let's get the ball back and stretch the lead. I'm going to try to play it safe in the passing game. Again, this is survival mode at this point. We got to win. I mean, we got too much at stake. I don't want to get fancy on the passing game if I don't have to. Let's go back to the run game with Horton. Man, nickel. Oh. Go left. Good defense. Good stop. He made a good play there. Let's go. I'm going to do toss with Horton again. That impact linebacker is always on the side we want to run to, but we're going to go to the left this time. We're going to run clock. What I can do is flip it. Do I got enough time for this? No, I don't. We'll just go back. I forgot. They're going to shift their line as well. Ooh, I, I, what am I doing? I, that was so late. I didn't even pimp. Oh, just awful. Ow. Awful. Awful. Ah, oh, so bad. Oh, the bounce, I guess. The clock has stopped, too. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. He's looking. Good throw. Good throw. They're giving us cover two zone on that play. Oh my goodness. Let's go and do a slam with Pero. It's first and ten. Ball on the Surviving it. Good play by Gates. Trying to stay alive. Let's go. I'm gonna go back to the left. Looks like they're going cover zero. If we can get a block on that free safety, that would be really good. We need to get a block on the linebacker, too. Maybe that left guard can pick him up. Ball can pick up the safety. Good blocking by everybody, especially Ball. He may be going for another six points. Ah, it was Ball again. I predicted it. You go back and look. Ball picks up the safety. He picks up both of them, technically. Gosh, what a great play. This could be a good thumbnail. Awesome. Take that speed to the house. It helped that they went cover zero. So we're up 10. Still got a long ways to go. We got to find a way to slow down that offense some more. 28. For us to have an interception and to be up 11, I'm thrilled with it. But kudos to North Carolina. They're making it interesting. A good kick. It's where I want it. Now, I'm sure he will return it. Get around that defender. Somebody get a stop. At this point, it's still in the third quarter, so I don't think they're in panic mode yet, but we're going to go quarters out of nickel. We'll do something like this. Toss. Thank the Lord. Good hit. Good stop. Good job by Buttles. Let's, I'm going to stay in quarters. Ooh, let's do, let's do something like this. Yeah, we're going to do the spy. I may have to take him over if he runs over there. Yeah, that's the weakness to quarters, just over the middle. So it's third and seven. Man, if we can get a stop here. Katie bar the door. Third and seven coming up here. We'll do something like this. I'm gonna shift him over to the right. Get our defensive tackle on the center. Play action. Jeez, what a cannon that was! Thankfully, that was a bad throw. But man, I mean that dude just launched it. That was a rocket. Okay, he's he's messing up here and there. We're gonna get the ball back. Let's take advantage of this. Let's get another touchdown and put them out of their misery. They line up to punt this one away. 
he may have been pressured. I didn't see it. I was paying too much attention on to the back end. Uh, I'm going to fair catch that one. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's go to Miranda. Let's do a basic slam with him for now. They're going man 4-3, then we'll go back to Horton. Uh, cover zero. Oh, no. We'll do something like, ooh, just enough to get to the outside. Get a first down. That could have been really bad. Calvin Waters is hurt. Injured his chest. It's probably not too serious of an injury. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending one. Let's do off tackle with Horton. And of course, the impact guy's on the weak side. He's been like that all day today. At least they're shifting good. Uh, the clock is running. We're going to let it do so. I'm going to chew up as much as I can. Try to get a, up three scores. We'll go up 18 if we can get a touchdown. Do something like this. Wow, good defense. That guy pursued perfectly. Look at this guy right here. Nobody touched him. He made a beeline. Like, it didn't even matter. Look at Boom. I'm, I know where you're going. I'm going to go after you, and I'm going to make the tackle. We broke the tackle, but still. Great job of reacting to the option. Everyone pursued to the ball very well on that play. Good team speed. We're going to do a toss with Horton. Second and ten. Uh, they're going zone 4-3. I think I'm going to let the clock run out. I'm going to wait. We're going to call the same play in the start of the fourth and see if they can call something better. Ooh, I actually kind of like going to the right. Ooh, no, let's just wait. I'm okay with it. All right, end of the third quarter. Ended up being a good quarter for us. Somehow, some way, we're up 11. Now, I'm going to flip it, and guess what? Who's on the strong side? The impact guy. Every time, without fail. And they're going zone. Uh, am I right? Is that correct? Yes, they are. Let's go back and bring him back over. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we'll do that then. <laughs> that worked in our favor. Just a stud. Man. So sometimes you can motion, move motion guys around and such and and get that scenario where they got stayed over there. I wasn't that's not why I did that. I wanted to bring him back. But we took advantage of it anyways. But look at Horton. He got a little jet speed right that last second, sneaking through there. Uh, let's just stay here and let's do a dive with him. Zone nickel, and the clock is running. Ooh. Gosh, I, I kind of feel like we got to go left. Uh, I'm going to bring over a... Let's, yeah, let's just wait. I'm going to bring him over so we pick up that impact linebacker. Let's do this. Fumble. Fumble? No! Uh, I saw it coming. I swear, Horton. I didn't do anything goofy either. I didn't juke or nothing. It's just an impact player making a play there. That was their linebacker who did it. Oh, gosh, turnovers. Well, thankfully, we got a cushion on the scoreboard. Man. All right, they're going to pass it. Intercept that. We'll take it. Uh, let's stay in quarters again. That's Horton's first fumble. Gosh, all season maybe? I'm trying to think last time he fumbled it. He doesn't ever do it, but I guess it took an impact linebacker to do it. A bad throw. So their quarterback, he's something's wrong with him. He's not jiving well, which I'm okay with. He played like Superman in the first half, not as much in the second. Hope he can keep it up. I got the middle of the field. We got a spy, so we're dropping eight. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking, throws it to the outside. Two. Brought down. We're going to force another punt or another turn. Uh, punt. Let's go back here. We're going to get the ball back. So we survived that. Man, if they would have scored on that drive, things would have got real interesting. Thankfully, they're just not as talented. If they had some talent, we'd probably be losing this game. I like what I'm seeing here. Peterson fields it at the 22. He, he may be going. Oh, 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 great job of Peterson. Okay. 
I'm going to give Horton a bit of a break on that fumble. I don't want to semi-punish him, but let's go to Pero, who's having a great day today. Now, they're going zone 4-3. Uh, let's go to the left. Just a great run. The toss play's working even against zone. Let's go slam with Horton. So, Wesley Carter, that, I think that's the impact guy, the linebacker for them. We're going to go to the right. I'm going to leave it as is. Let that clock run. I'd love to chew up the rest of this and end this thing. But we need one more touchdown in order to feel good about myself in terms of winning. We're going to cut in, just know where to go. Good hit. He's kind of feeling it. We're going to go... I'm going to stick with him, though. I'm going to do a toss with Horton. It's second down and eight. Ball in the 32. Uh, I guess we're going to go left. And they're going man, right? Did I say that? Yes, they're going man. Let's go back. We'll go to the left. Let the clock roll. Then we'll figure out what to do on third down if needed. Pretty wild game. I tell you, ever since I've cranked up the sliders, every game feels like you got a chance to lose. But we're still pulling off the victories. Get a first down. Just enough. And we stayed in bounds. What a sensational running game we've seen today. And guess what? We're going to go right back to Pero. We're going to give Horton a bit of a break. We're going to run slam. We're going to leave it all as is. I'm going to go to the right. Let the clock roll some more. If I wasn't running clock today, it would be even more tough. So, I mean, use the clock to your advantage. Especially in games like this, when you know you're going to have a tight game with a, a decent opponent. Get a block right there. Six. Wow, this kid's good. Man, he's good. That's speed. Number three for the freshman. Good block by Parker. And he just outbeat everybody. Outran him. That could be another decent thumbnail. Right there. Just incredible. Great play all around. Whew. He may get the thumbnail today. He's having just an incredible day. I'm assuming he'll get the MVP for the game. Always forget to check that whenever they show it. That kid's going to be a stud for us next couple of seasons. He'll be our number one guy more than likely next season, along with the other freshmen that we are redshirting. So we'll have another twin halfback running attack. So it's not going to be a whole lot of difference. That's a good kick. So now I think they're in panic mode. They're going to throw pretty much the rest of the way. And I think we should be fine. There's two minutes to go. The Tar Heel line up in an eye formation. Play action. Get a tackle, somebody. I, I didn't do it, that's for sure. I'm going to get, what, seven, eight yards? Staying quarters. I'm not going to do any spy. Ah. Face mask to go with it. <laughs> Their quarterback's good. He good. Thank the Lord he took a quarter off. Pretty much the third quarter and halfway through this one, he just he struggled. That's that's what we needed. I'll just stay in quarters. They're scoring. I mean, they're driving quick. Play action again. They're loving this play over here. Oh, he bad throw. I'm a me. Second and ten. I'm going to do a zone blitz. Let's just see what happens. The game's pretty much over with. We're up 18. Get him. Get, get him. Oh, man, he bit on it. He overshot it. So, thankfully, his deep ball isn't working all that great today. Third and 10. I'm going to go cloud, and I'm not going to do a spy. I'd like to see Nichols get some pressure on. Of course, Nichols isn't even out there. He must be tired. I've got the middle of the field. There he goes. 
Oh my gosh, great play by the quarterback. First down. He even cut up. Normally he'll go to the right because he's a right-handed quarterback. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a Ooh, and I call the wrong play. This may be a touchdown. Yeah, we're very lucky on that one. We'll just stick with the same play. I don't know. Is this my... I think I called the wrong one again. I think I called the same one, to be honest. Look at that. He's... Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just going to let that clock roll. That's fine. Let's do a pinch blitz. Let's go all out. I think they're going to score. Now we got Thornton playing outside linebacker. This ain't good. And he made a bad throw. So it's third and one. Just a weird setup. We're going to do fire green. I have the halfback. They can call pretty much anything at this point. Sack! Somebody got to him, and it was Thornton. North Carolina takes a timeout. Oh, okay, he was that linebacker there. We finally got to him. So it's fourth and eight. Uh, we'll go Cloud. So Perro is your player of the game, as expected. He just had a... Just about every time he touched the ball, magic happened. Not enough. First of 10, game over. So we're on the 10-yard line. They got two timeouts. They'll probably use them. So I'm going to go ahead and run the ball. And we'll see what happens after this. I'm going to go to the right. Good defense. They are not calling timeouts. I'm still going to run the ball, though. I'm not going to go to Horton. I don't want him to get hurt. We can go to somebody else. I probably need to go to Miranda after this one. Ooh. We'll go to the right. This should be the last play. I don't think they will call a timeout after this. And then I can I won't even have to take a knee. There won't be enough time left. Good defense. And yeah, good job by the linebacker. And that's it. We're gonna win 35 to 17. That score does not reflect kind of what happened today for anybody who actually watched the entire game. We pulled away in the, in the second half. We were just a little too much for them through multiple quarters. That first half was interesting, to say the least. But we shut them out in the second half. I just now realized that. And that is it. We finished the conference season 8-0. We're now 11-0. I want to check out some stats. And it looks like we're going to be winning the victory bell once again. That's number four, if I'm not mistaken. I think we beat them all four seasons. No, I think we got beat that first season against them. I think that's what happened. Times have changed for the better. We'll check out some stats. I want to look at that box score just to confirm that I'm correct on that, that we shut them out. Uh, let's go stats and scores. 460 yards of offense. I had to quit throwing the ball. We were just having too many issues there. And I thought it was in our best interest to run the ball, chew as much clock as possible. And we ended up having just an insane running attack. Now, I know some people get upset when I have a big running game like that. They say certain plays are too cheesy. I mean, some of them, some things get stopped. Sometimes they don't. It's whatever. It's my offense. I don't care. All right, passing yards, though. We're not going to have a whole lot there. Gates just kind of struggled at times. Uh, we done a really good job on third down. Uh, two turnovers. That did not help things, and we still won by 18. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to individual stats. Again, Gage just didn't do a whole lot today. But running the ball, Horton, 214 yards. Perro had 143. Look at these averages. Just insane. And again, I know that's not realistic, but uh, we're kind of dealing with video games here. I'm just kind of saying. Anyway, uh, Perro had three touchdowns. And he is your MVP. Uh, receiving, not a whole lot to see here, but Peterson came up big in a few of those uh, spots when we needed him. Uh, defensively, Walker had 10 tackles on the day. Uh, leading in tackles for loss, Buttles and Thornton. We ended up didn't get did get a few sacks, a couple by Thornton and one by Buttles. Now I want to check that box score. Yes, the second half we shut them down. Third quarter changed the game for us. Even when we had that interception at the end of the second uh, quarter, we overcame it. 
we out talented them today. That's pretty much what the gist of that was. But kudos to their quarterback. He played pretty well, but thankfully he slipped a little in the second half. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we beat North Carolina, then Bowling Green over Miami of Ohio, Texas over Notre Dame, USC over Arizona. Then you have Penn State over Michigan State, Iowa over Minnesota, Virginia over Virginia Tech. Looks like Virginia is going to end up having a really good season. I'm glad we was able to beat them, though. Then you got Oregon State over Washington. Then you have Cal over Arizona State, ECU over UAB, Oklahoma over Baylor, LSU over Alabama. Then you have Michigan over Ohio State, Florida over South Carolina, Auburn over Georgia, Oregon over UCLA, and that is it for your top 25. So in our next game, we have, if I can get to it, Wisconsin. This is the off-the-beaten-path type of game at the end of the get schedule where I had no choice but to schedule somebody. only gave me like six options, and I went with the best one that I could find, and they're not having a really good season. Now, as you can tell, they run the ball well. That's nothing unusual for them. But it looks like their defense is pretty solid, too. we got a little bit more talent than they do, so it could be quite interesting. But I'm really looking forward to heading up to Madison. It's been a long time since i played in that stadium. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.